What's up guys, Joe here. Welcome back to my channel and today we are back with stage 18 of Pino's Redemption Tour here on PCM 2020. And as you see, an absolutely absurd stage today. So many climbs to get over. This is going to be really difficult. Of course, we're in yellow at the moment. Hopefully, we're still there at the end of the stage. All right, guys, I've been waiting for this day and you can see it has now come. Thibaut Pino does get a minus day at this tour and it is not the day to get this. So I'm expecting to, uh, to come under a lot of pressure later in this stage. However, I do want to join the breakaway with at least a few guys. Let's see if we can do that. So we're just cruising towards the first climb of the day, but you can see Kung is up the roads right here. And then we do have Ladanu and Godzu further up the roads uh, with more riders, including Emmerich Mass trying to get in today's break. Right then, we are now on the first climb of the day and it has been Ineos on the front pretty much all day so far. Uh, you can see we do have those three guys in this breakaway. I'll even try and protect maybe Godzu with Ladanu right here. Um, and we'll see if we can keep these guys up the roads basically to help out Thibaut later in the stage. So coming to the top of this first climb today, Godzu is still in this front group, now down to just seven riders. You can see Damar and Tom are really struggling now in the peloton as well. Godu looking pretty good though. And you can see the likes of Martin and Dylan Toons really struggling now as well. Uh, probably not worth going for these KOM points with Godu at this stage, 22nd in that competition. However, good to see we should stay in this front group over the top. So we've now started our ascent of the Col de Sezi, I believe you say. 11 guys now at the front. Kung is there with Godu. He can try and protect him for now, but you can see just two and a half minutes now to the Pelson. Um, and Ladinu is here. He won't be able to stay very long though. So we're coming to the top of this climb now and you can see Godu struggling to stay to the front this time. We're gonna have to stay in this group behind, sadly. Uh, so no more KOM points for him. Kung has just dropped to this group. Um, and he's looking just strong enough to stay here over the top as well. So good ride by Stefan Kung today as we're down to about 50 riders in the peloton with more going out the back, including Quieto already on this climb. On to the next one then. And the pace in this group is really, really fast right now. Pino is way too far to the back as well. Right back gone already. We're almost gonna, uh, we're almost gonna lose Stefan Kung as well. You know, right to the back of this group, we need to try and move up as the pace does slow. It does seem Ineos not willing to take it up on the front. Godu is still in the second group on the roads um, and hopefully he can drop in a moment to help out Thibaut. So then this next climb coming up is a very narrow road. So I'll try and move up a little bit with Thibaut right now. Um, and Kung is not gonna be able to stay here very long at all. Um, and here we go. You can see average of 12.5% right here. Um, I'm going to use Madawa's energy gel. He can probably try and protect Thibaut already because really can't see Kung lasting on this climb at all. Uh, so we can move over a little bit with Thibaut Pino. There you go. Try and make sure we're staying to the front of this group. Godu just up the road as well uh, and he can drop back in a moment but expecting some attacks as you see the tempo from Hessink and the plus very quick right now. Here we go then. We do have some moves and it's Bookman and Alaphilippe. Pino getting dropped in. Very frustratingly, really getting blocked in there. Oh my, that is not what we were looking for. 3K to go in this climb. Um, and I'm actually going to do this right here. So we'll try a little attack with Thibaut as Quintana is on the attack. Godu can try and protect us. And Quintana is absolutely flying up the roads right here. Nairo Quintana, as you can see, really struggling with getting blocked a little bit on this climb. Quintana is up the road though. Two and a half minutes down in GC. Godu is now done. Uh, we're going to have to try and pace in Nairo Man as well as those other guys with Garrett Thomas just sat on our wheel at the moment. But you can see this group really, really stretched out as we have one and a half K to go in this climb. I will sit up with Pino uh, because we have caught those guys. In fact, one K to go. I'll try a little counter attack right here with Pino despite this minus day uh, just to try and put them in a little difficulty if Quintana went too early on this climb. We'll just try and pace maybe 75 to the top. Um, as you see a few guys, Mikhail Lander struggling, uh, but we're really looking at Quintana and Thomas who both seem okay on this climb. So here we go. We now do have an attack as we crest this climb and it is Emmanuel Bookman. 
and he's obviously going for the stage. He's 11 minutes down in the GC. I'll relay 60, but to be honest, we've won loads of stages already. He can go and win the stage. If no one wants to work with me and try and win the stage, uh, Bookman can go and take it. If not, uh, these guys are going to have to work. So we finish this descent, and if we take a look up the road, Bookman has one minute on this group. Again, not a real danger in the GC. We don't mind him going up the roads, and other teams realise that as Richie Port coming to the front for Trek Sega Fredo, I assume working for Molima. However, coming into this final climb, we'll see if these guys try any attacks. As you can see, Nairo Quintana on the attack right here. We react quite quickly there. Um, and Quintana un unable to get away for now. We'll follow Alaphilippe apparently instead of Nairo Man. Uh, but Quintana not quite steep enough for him it seems. Up to about 6% right now. It's a strong attack though by the Colombian. We can now sit up as he's unable to get away. Bookman still with about a minute up the road. Looking very, very good at this point. More attacks right now. I'm much slower to react this time as well. As you can see Quintana trying to get up the roads. I'll follow Tom Doomlan. Not on Quintana's wheel though. As you see, Bookman is uh, blowing up up the roads. I'll try a little counter over the top with Thibaut Pino as that's the last real climb of the day. Port is out the back. Uh, but if we work with Doomland, Thomas and Pogachar right here, maybe we can catch Emmanuel Bookman. However, I will sit up and these guys unable to work. And again, not really my job to catch him. So 7k to go in this one. I've taken Balcom Olmer's wheel. He's definitely in the market for a stage win, it would seem here. Bookman doing his best to hold on. Neither of these guys are the best downhillers. Um, as you see, both about 70 rated into the final 5k. Pino in the perfect position to defend his yellow jersey despite a minus day to day. No one really tried anything as they have done previously. Uh, but now we have just 3k to go in this stage. I'll take Landis Wheel instead of Balcomolma. Just 20 seconds to Emmanuel Bookman. But to be honest, I think he's done enough. As we take the insides of this corner, Pino trying to go for the line. We'll follow Alaphilippe, in fact. Bookman going for the stage victory, and the German is going to do it. What a win for Bookman breaking away. Alaphilippe second, Pino sprints in for third place but no real time gaps today, so we're safe in yellow. Emmanuel Bookman takes the stage win after breaking away, and I try to work, but no one willing to work with me, so the German goes away for the stage. No change really in the GC, as we stay over two minutes clear of Thomas and Quintana, with only a couple of stages to go now. We're still in green with Damar, this competition very close indeed. Pino in polka dots, Hog in white and Ineos lead the team classification. So then stage 19 and you can see no massive mountains at all in this one. Potentially one for the sprinters and we're trying to keep Arnold Damar in that green jersey. So that will be the concentration in tomorrow's stage. Anyhow guys, if you enjoyed this one today, drop a like on the video. As always, subscribe to my channel if you're new. And I will see you guys in the next one. Oh,